Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to install iOS 6.0 Beta 1 or iOS 6, the thing that was talked about at WWDC. They unveiled it and it's now available for download for developers. If you're not a developer, you're going to have to wait till fall or follow this video to do it now. So, uh, if you're a developer, it makes it a lot e easier. It costs $100 a year. If you're ever into any sort of development for iOS, I definitely recommend buying that and using it uh, that way. However, you can also purchase a UDID slot on someone else's and do it through them. So I'm going to be showing you both ways on how to install iOS 6. One requires you to be a developer, the other one doesn't. So what you're going to first need to do is plug in your device. I have my iPad plugged in right here. And you're going to need to get your UDID uh, so what you do, plug in your device, click on serial number, it'll show you the UDID. You're going to need to copy this number right here, and you're going to need to go to, for developers, go to the Dev Center, click Provisioning Portal, click Devices, and then you can add your device right there, add the UDID, and then you should be registered for that. Um, and then the second thing you're going to need to do is download iOS 6 for your device. I would be downloading this. I already have it downloaded, but if you don't, just click right there, your respective device, and it should work. Now, if you're not a developer, click on the link in the description to our website and it talks about how you can get your UDID registered from somewhere else, and they'll send you the files, so you're good for those two steps. Now, once you do have the files and you're registered, all you're going to have to do is click on... Uh, restore which you'll be holding alt if you're on a Mac and holding shift while you do this on a PC click restore then go to the uh, restore file that you downloaded or got click open and click restore now once you do this your device will restore and you'll be on iOS 6 so that's pretty self-explanatory thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later